pensamientos. We have to fight the good fight of faith, which is in the spirit and not in our flesh. So we can't react with attitude when something doesn't go our way. We have to react with the fruit of the spirit because that is the act of the spirit. Amen? And so when we have the mind of Christ, then we begin to recognize, okay, if I have the mind of Christ, then I got to flow in that 24-7. You know, we've been so indoctrinated with the world and how the world handles things. All you have to do is flip on TV and it tells you how to treat a person, how to, how to, how to handle this situation when they don't treat you like you should be treated. And we know all along that that's not the way that God has set it up, but we're so entertained by it. We're so intrigued by it. You know, and, uh, uh, inquiring minds want to know. So you inquire about it. You, you know about how the world operates and all along the enemy is seeping into our spirits. He's brainwashing us when we know that we are not in this, we, we were in this world, but we're not of the world. And God is calling us to either be Christians or to, or to not be Christians. If we're going to do this thing, we need to go all the way. If we're going to do this thing, then we need to say, okay, for God I live and for God I die. Every aspect of my life is going to be led by the Spirit of God. Am I just going to come on Sunday and Wednesday and get the Word of God and still begin to act like the world when I leave and get home? No, I'm going to allow the Word Word of God to permeate out of my life. I'm going to allow the fruit of the Spirit to be what is displayed in my countenance and in my character. I'm not going to uh, go tit for tat, okay? I'm not going to be a, 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 a cantankerous, and, and, and I'm not going to be a, a person that, that seeks to get revenge, to make somebody pay. That's the way the world does it. 